From Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, on TV Sports presents college football action as the Michigan State Spartans take on the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan State has chosen to start a couple of seniors in that defensive backfield, notably Mike Marshall out of Detroit Southwestern. And off to Ricks, big opening. Lawrence Ricks bangs it up near a first down. Most people would expect pass in a situation like this. And Wangler gives them what they would expect. Over the middle, Anthony Carter dropped it. He was open, hit him right in the stomach, and bounced out. Well, that's two in a row Michigan has dropped. In front of him, but certainly did not have him covered up. Don Bracken, the Michigan freshman putter, is set to kick to Thomas Morris, defensive back from Long Beach, California, and a good defensive back. Kick away from about the 40-yard line for Bracken, heading for the far sideline. Good bounce. Morris grabs it at the seven-yard line and is buried. They'll call it. Michigan State was unable to move the football, so let's pick up the action later in the quarter. First down, Michigan. Edwards, straight up the middle. Pops off the tackle. He gets just his shoulder. Looking like a good day. All right, both receivers now on the left side for Michigan. Carter in the slot. Mitchell further out. Ricks gets the handoff straight ahead. Near at the 10-yard line before he is met by a lot of white jerseys. Time in the season. Got a first down out of it. They'll mark it at the 15-yard line, a 25-yard field goal, and that's what Michigan's going to do on fourth down and one. It is. Sheets' kick is up and good. And Michigan gets on the scoreboard first. A field goal of 25 yards. It's the Wolverines three and the Spartans nothing. Stayed at their own 20-yard line. Leister has Tony Ellis now at fullback, along with Steve Smith. But it's a pass over the middle, batted in the air, and intercepted by Miriam Body at the 30-yard line. Body knocked out of bounds. 23-yard line. Tom Piet, the Michigan State Center, knocked him out of bounds, but that tip ball turns into a big turnover for the Wolverines. Andy Canavino should get credit for the interception, and the man he's the man that tips it. Watch it. It's a straight, quick post. Canavino gets up with a hand, tips it up, and there's Marion Body. That is his third interception on the year, and Michigan is in great shape. Watch Canavino. He sees the pass. He gets back to his drop zone, and then great reaction to get a hand up and get it on the ball. That's just good, quick reaction by Andy Canavino. First down, Michigan at the 23-yard line of state. Langler to Carter. That's the one-yard line or more. Going to be the one-yard line. Anthony Carter very close to being in. I told you that he was being single-covered with Mike Marshall, and they would go to him sooner or later. Michigan caught him in that single coverage. They were Edwards and Ricks in the eye behind Wangler. Two tight ends in the offense. Betts and Dunaway. Michigan State gathered in about a nine-man line. Lawrence Ricks, touchdown. Credit the offensive front. You see Bubba Paris over there along with Kurt Becker. They just blow a hole wide open in that Michigan State goal line defense. And there's no question that Ricks has got it in there. Watch the hole develop. The hole is right there and Ricks just goes over easily as Michigan gets into the end zone following the turnover. And 10 it is. Michigan leading Michigan State 10 nothing with 442 left in the first quarter. Picture that Morton Anderson sees, although he ain't going to look at that. He's going to stare right at the ball. Leister is the holder. No. Yeah. Kick is up. Long enough. And good. Morton Anderson hits from 49 yards out. And Michigan State has scored three points. Michigan still leads, however, 10-3. to three. Let's pick up the action later in the quarter with Michigan State in possession. Second and 10, still at the 16, 525 left to play in the half. Otis Grant goes wide to the left. Leister back to throw. Over the middle, wide open is Jones. And that's good for about nine down to the Michigan six-yard line. A bigger play than the third down play they converted. And they're going to go for it all. 
Weister rolling. Cuts inside. He's got the first down. He got the touchdown. He survived the hit at the three-yard line and got six. John Leister leads the Spartans back, and with 4-12 remaining in the half, it's all tied up at 10. It really is. On paper, Michigan is much the stronger team. On the scoreboard, it's equal. First and 10, throw is for Bush Wolfolk, and complete. George Cooper, the linebacker, one of two there to wrap up. Wolfolk after a game. about writing it off? I saw that smile. Langler in trouble. Gets it away, complete, run away. Dunaway down the sideline with a block on front. Mike Marshall pushes him out at the 12-yard line. What a big play. John Wangler is almost sacked. And then he gets the pass away to Craig Dunaway. Let's get a hold of it. Sheik will try to put Michigan ahead. 19-yard line is the spot. 29 would be the field goal distance. It's up. And it's good. And Sheik hits on his second field goal of the afternoon. Michigan goes back in front of Michigan State, 13 to 10. The kick is going good. Just cleared the bar into the wind. Incredible. Five seconds left on the clock, and Michigan State has tied Michigan 13-13. After an exchange of punts, we pick up the action later in the quarter. 20-yard line of Michigan State, second down Michigan. Five to go for a first down. Stanley Edwards, right back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. McAdoo on this second down play. Wolfo looking straight ahead. Gets a yard, maybe two to the three. Just a penalty, gave back a first down. And this is third down. Pitch for Anthony Carter in the corner. He got him. Touchdown. John Wangler. Beautifully thrown pass. Very simple pass, too. And the fact that there was only one receiver on the play, Anthony Carter. He is single covered, as we talked about before. Wangler takes a step back. Anthony just runs for the corner. Now, nobody's going to catch him. Beautiful thrown ball. Nice catch. Now watch from the, the ground level. Wangler just steps back and throws it up. Carter was, they took the inside away from Anthony, so he runs right to the corner. With 4-11 left in the third quarter, Michigan has taken another lead over State, 20-13. 20, 35-yard field goal attempt by Morton Anderson. He's got it. As you said, Jim, almost automatic from this deep, and the turnover results in three points for Michigan State and a 20-16 game, Michigan on top by four. Each year on the field. Throw out the records. Second down, Edwards through the middle. There's an opening. Stanley Edwards hauled down by Carl Williams. Left, top of your screen. Edwards gets it, breaks through. Across the 40, 30-yard line. Edwards down the sidelines, pushed out by Neely, the linebacker. But it's first down and deep in Michigan State territory. Wolfo gets the call, slips a tackle, breaks for the outside, gets by Marshall. There's another first down, and finally he is rolled out of bounds on the far side by Morris. Third down and eight for Michigan at the Michigan State eight. Langler looks for someone to throw to. Over the middle. Yes! Got it tight end. Dunaway. Touchdown, Michigan. Michigan State threatening again. Ellis goes in for the touchdown. Michigan State has scored. And missed only once on a bad snap from center in the Notre Dame game. He didn't get a chance to convert an extra point. He converts this one. It is Michigan 27, Michigan State 23 with seven minutes to play. Two down. Third down and ten. Big play for the Spartans if they are to have any chance at all. Leister has some time. Incomplete. Intercepted Andy Canavino. Getting a tip from Nicolau. No, no, 94. James Herman, a game try by Michigan State. This young man, John Leister. against Michigan, and it's a tough loss for Michigan State, but I'll tell you, they've proved that they are a good football team, and I think they'll be a factor in the Big Ten race. Congratulations, Jim. You won it today. <laughs>